a city skyline reflects the changes that take place within it. And that's very apparent from here. The roof of the ITN building, the headquarters of Maxat, Britain's biggest business television operator. But the revolution of satellite broadcasting can only be seen here. This is the nerve centre of Maxat's business satellite network. Depending on the customer, Maxat will coordinate a country-wide broadcast for a national car dealership like Porsche or BMW, or a global transmission for a multinational like ICI. Well, I was surprised when we got that question from Sweden. Well, that's enough from us. Let's hear now from the businessmen who have been using business television as an integral part of their corporate communication strategy. They've been giving us their views during studio discussions organised by Maxat and chaired by myself, Clive Coldwell. Our first group of business television users includes Frank Hemsworth of Unipart International, Mike Black of Complete Communications, Jean-Louis Martinet of Hewlett Packard and David Jones of Video Auctioneers Class. Frank Hemsworth. Uh, Managing Director of Unipart International. How did you get started in business television? A long time ago, um, eight years ago to be precise. Um, as a company, we believe in good communications. Unipart has always communicated well with its network. But there was a point, going back eight years, when we found that the volume of paper we were sending out as communication was probably too much for any one human being to digest. Therefore, managers were not passing the communication down the line, and we were losing the, the effect of some of the things we were trying to do. So we came up with the media of canned TV. Unipart, the biggest automotive parts distributor in the UK. Committed to communication through their monthly video magazine, Channel 5. During this time, we've actually branched now into live TV, as we see live TV as a, as a media for the future. Live program. I think the most important thing to bring across is it's not television for the sake of TV. It's television with a definite purpose. We invest in business TV because we want to make money. We want to sell our product. And if it was not working, we would stop it tomorrow. But the fact that we've been running it for eight years, I think, is an endorsement to the media. And the next step is live TV throughout the nation. What sort of benefits attracted you towards live television? The effect we got from live TV I think needs to be experienced by people before they can see just how well it works in the market. Tonight we bring you this month's Channel 5 Live from Unipart House here at Cowley. Now with the aid of a satellite orbiting some 23,000 miles above the Earth, we bring you a packed live Channel 5 program. Now we have 18 direct telephone lines set up between Unipart House here in Cowley and hotels where you are located all over the United Kingdom from as far afield as Perth in the north to Bournemouth in the south, from Exeter in the west, to Peterborough in the east. On one transmission, the effect of that, and that, that transmission lasted an hour, the effect of that went on for at least six months after the night of transmission and sold us an incremental three million pounds worth of parts at a time when the industry was flat on its back. So it paid for itself many, many times over. Mike Black, your creative director of Complete Communications. As a communication specialist, how would you recommend they evaluate it and plan for it? The way that we evaluated it on behalf of Unipard was that they had a major campaign and they had to transmit that to a number of people around the UK and the one thing that they had to achieve was to hit as many people and inform as many people in one go and motivate them as quickly as possible. If we'd gone to the 18 locations around the country in the traditional way it would have taken us two weeks plus the cost of executive time that that would take. Um, and I think that was the factor that said, let's look at a single evening of an hour. They had everybody in the company at the fingertips to ask questions, everybody through the marketing organization, which if we'd taken those out on the road would have cost the company a fortune and stopped it operating for a week. Jean-Louis, I believe Hewlett Packard are one of the innovators of this sort of interactive technology. Can you explain to us how it works? Yeah, surely. The, uh, the main idea, the main motivation is to get, as we address a very large audience, to get also feedback from this large audience and on time. So it works, it, it's a, a simple box, a simple keypad with a microphone integrated, and all of that is connected okay, uh, to uh, the PC-based host system uh, all around Europe, all, all around the, the world too. 
from time to time. We uh, broadcast program from the U.S. and all Europe connect to it, uh, is connected to the DOS system in the U.S. So we can collect uh, questions and we can also collect uh, evaluation, live or reaction from the audience. David Jones, a managing director of, of Class, you're modelling an American system um, of auction of auctions going on around the country. Obviously, there's a huge geographical difference there. Well, basically, the, the, the difference is, in, instead of taking animals to a cattle market in order to get them sold, you take the person out to the farm and you film the animal, put it on a piece of videotape, take it to your central edit studio, make it into a 60-second lot, uh, project that on an uplink to whichever satellite you're going to use that day, uh, pick it up in lots of different farmhouses and abattoirs, Right, we go to lot 205 for Simmental Cross Frisian Heifers there, 487 kgs. Where are you now? This time must be around 110. As the auction is going on in the TV studio, they simply make bids. So they'll be talking to a, a, a bid relayer. They'll be watching him in the bottom right-hand corner of their screen. It's just like a normal auction, but instead of having two or three fellas standing around a ring, you've got 10 or 20 people. Your price is going to be better. It's much more dynamic and the animals don't lose any weight, you can't lose. In our next session, David Robinson of Texaco International, David Burkill Howarth of ICI Pharmaceuticals, and Brian Welsh of Renault UK. David, you've been using business television. What sort of things have you been using it for? Well, we had two projects that we used business television uh, on recently. Uh, one was the celebration of our 75th anniversary. And there we were looking for a way of involving all our 2,000 employees in one common celebratory event. So you're all celebrating your 75th birthday, as it were, with the company. Well, I have to tell you that when Texaco, or uh, the Texas Company, as it was then called, was first set up here in the United Kingdom... Our employees are spread right away from Aberdeen up in Scotland to Pembroke in Wales, as well as a sizable number of people down in London. And to bring them all into a central location would have been extremely expensive. So we used satellite to deliver uh, basically a central event that was held in London out to all these regional locations so that they could participate in the same time frame at the same event as the people who actually came in person to London. David, your, your 75th anniversary uh, event uh, sounds to me as though it was a very complicated thing to set up and presumably it would have been very expensive. How did you justify it? We actually justified it by adding one extra word to the equation that you presented, and that's instead of saying, what did it cost? Was it cost-effective? And the answer to was it cost-effective, I can say absolutely yes. We've looked at cost in two ways. We've looked at the financial cost, which if you're transmitting worldwide, as we will be, hopefully, to about 22 locations, um, there's a little problem in saying the satellite is cheaper. Maybe marginally, maybe healthily, depending on how many people you bring from the more further flung outposts. Good morning, North America. Good afternoon, Europe. But I'm if you John look at Edwards, downtime for senior management, there's absolutely no contest. You can look at, say, five days out for a one day's meeting for somebody coming from the States, Australia. Is he fit to make a decision when he arrives? Is he fit to make a decision for a day or two when he goes back? All we ask for a satellite link is that they're, say, half an hour beforehand, the period of the satellite transmission, and then they can have a discussion afterwards. Brian, if I can, if I can come to you, is the, the, the car industry getting so competitive now that you've got to look at different ways of communicating with dealers and actually putting your product over? Was that one of the reasons for using business television? That's one of the reasons, and I think it's interesting that uh, most of our competitors are also rushing to get into business television in a big way. Uh, Fords have just announced last week that they were going to do it and General Motors are working on it. Volkswagen used it for a while. Mm -hmm. it, it certainly is the latest thing for the motor trade to get involved in TV. I, I think w within any country we work through a franchise of dealers who are 
uh, geographically located all over the UK. We have 270 dealers from the north of Scotland to Ireland to the Channel Islands. And as David said, a way of communicating at the same time has to be through, through TV. David, is that something you would agree with? Is that particularly relevant to your particular industry? Are you seen to be able to compete by using these sort of services? Or is it not? Is um, it very much with, the internal well, thing? Well, with, within, within our um, area of business, it's not strictly competing. It's actually being more effective with the communication. And certainly we have a, have a, a very strong belief that a more informed, well-educated, uh, up-to-date workforce is, is, is actually inherently necessary for us to be successful at business. So we, ac we actually see good communications as being inherent to our business principles. And satellite, I think, is quite unique in possessing qualities over and above just videotape, over and above written material and indeed over and above face-to-face -face material because of the breadth that it can encompass and the value for money that it can give. Our final panellist was Penny Lawson, a media consultant with extensive experience in business television broadcasting. Penny, you've been involved with a number of business television projects. What sort of, what sort of things do people have to go through in the planning stages? Well, a lot of thinking, first of all, thinking about why they want business television. Are they wanting it to address certain hard issues, saving or making money? Now, in the process of thinking about that, very frequently they will undertake some sort of feasibility study, looking at how they currently communicate with employees, with the outside world, uh, which of those things work very well, um, which aren't going so well, and where business television would come in. Obviously, you deal with a vast portfolio of communications mm. products. Where does business television sit in all that? Business television excels in helping companies to present something new or indeed something existing in a powerful but relatively general way. Clever, eh? And useful. And unique to BMW. Television's because also excellent at demonstrating things. Um, BMW has used television exceptionally well in showing its salespeople under the bonnet of a new model, explaining just what's good about, about a new model. And in terms of motivation, business television is powerful. You can sit a chief executive in front of his staff or her staff. Now, you remember I said last week I'll be talking with Tom Purvis, managing director of BMW GB. Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Gabby. Welcome to the Motor Show. They can look in the whites of their eyes and there's, there's no opportunity for uh, deception or evasion. The chief executive is there and can be closely questioned by their staff. It's in those sorts of areas, Business Television Excel. Peter, what sort of advice would you give those considering business television as a medium to use for the first time? How, how should they go about it? Well, one thing I think they should be keen on is, uh, and I know the satellite operators are very, are very keen on this, is taking part in some kind of live demonstration. Porsche are known for their technical integrity, and that takes a long, long time to get right. That's very important. Actually, to see it working, to take part, begins to show people and give them a feeling about what the medium is all about. Then I'd say it's probably important, either internally or get someone from the outside, to look closely at what sort of communication, what sort of messages that you have that you think business television will be suited for. So overall, our studio discussion produced very positive reactions on behalf of our business television broadcasters, which only goes to underline the versatile nature of the medium. It's been used to launch products, train and motivate staff, or indeed simply celebrate corporate success. Well, for the last word, we thought we'd let our panellists tell us whether they'd recommend business television to other people. Well, I couldn't be selfish and say no, and then that way we could capitalise the airwaves <laughs> and give us the distinct advantage we have today. But I think it's, um, I, I can't really understand why people who run businesses haven't taken the time to look seriously at this media. Um, because if they're, they're pursuing world-class standards in most other elements of their business, why aren't they pursuing world-class standards in communications? I think that's the only way forward if you're going to survive in the communications business.
a company that has information to get across or a point of view to present a problem to deal with and needs to deal with it quickly, business television is ideal.